In today's video, I'm going to be looking at some stocks that could help us invest into the metaverse. Now, will this be a thing over the next two to three years? Probably not. This is going to be a five to ten year investment, and some of these companies may not actually survive that long. However, at this point in time, they seem to be some of the top companies in this field. So let's get down and let's check them out. First one is Matterport, M-T-T-R, and with this one it currently has a 12 million share average volume of trading which is absolutely ridiculous. They currently have a massive negative earnings which is always not that great, however it does show that they're probably investing a lot into their business, of course, so that they can make even more money into the future. They've missed one quarter and they've beat one quarter, however they are still in the negatives, which again is not great. However, if there is one thing that I would really like somebody to invent is something so that we can scan our phone calls and make it free for everybody and not have to pay because I don't pay for that, somebody has invented it. Some kind of artificial intelligence that gets rid of all spam phone calls. Anyways, let's get back to the video. They also, when we start looking at the upgrades and downgrades, they all, or at least a lot of these different big analysts continue to say that this stock will outperform. Do I pay attention to these? Not really. There's a reason. When you start looking at analysts, they usually have an ulterior motive, some kind of a motive to say, hey, I am shorting this stock, so I think it's going to underperform. Well, you're obviously going to tell everybody that you think that it's going to underperform because you're shorting the stock. So I really don't pay attention to that. But it is nice to see when there's lots of upgrades or at least maintains when it says it's a buy or an outperform. Usually when it's a downgrade, that's usually when it's a bit scary. They could also be playing it as well, saying, oh yeah, it's going to outperform. Meanwhile, they're selling short the stock so that, of course, now it's been pushed up higher so that now when it goes down, you get the point. So what does Matterport do? Well, it's a spatial data company focuses on digitization and datafication of the built world. It offers Matterport Digital Twins, a 3D data platform to design, build, operate, promote, and understand spaces. The company offers Matterport Capture, an application that enables to capture depth, data, and imagery of space of a space using 3D cameras. So it's kind of an interesting thing. Like this company with Facebook or Meta may actually do really well together and I wouldn't be surprised if a company like Meta just might purchase some of these companies we're talking about today. They haven't been on the stock market for a ton of time and of course just like almost every other digital company right now or tech company, their stock has fallen. This could be a good time to buy, it seems to have leveled out with high volume, so that just may be a point in time where it might start reversing. We really start needing to look at of course the MACD and it's starting to converge, it is getting lower. And of course, that blue line right there is starting to level out, which means that as soon as that blue line passes, I'm colorblind, the green line or whatever color that line is, then at that point, it should start accelerating to the upside. So this could actually over the next few days start actually doing well. The next stock is Immersion Corporation, IMMR. It's currently having pretty high volume at 400,000 shares traded every single day and it's got positive earnings per share which is always good when you're talking about a company that like these which are a bit more on the riskier side. I always like to invest in companies that are on the riskier side that have positive earnings unless their name is Tesla or Amazon. Those are the companies that I have only invested in in the past that had negative earnings other than cannabis stocks. They've had one meat quarter or one okay quarter. They've had two beats, one negative and of course an earnings coming up very soon. Over the past few years they've had declining revenues which is always something that we should look at. However, they did have a fantastic 2018 so something to also remember. There are some downgrades so keep that in mind as well. So this could be a stock that we are looking at for maybe to invest in a few months. It's also one of my things that I like to look for is companies that get downgraded because then after a few weeks 
their stock decreasing sometimes is a good time to buy. We have to remember Warren Buffett's saying, when others are fearful, you should be ex you should be ecstatic about investing. While while others are ecstatic about investing, you should be fearful. If anyone's saying the market can never go down, that's when you get out because the market's about to go down. In fact, I actually remember back in about uh, January, February time when the COVID virus was starting to be a worldwide pandemic, I was hearing people on CNBC saying that it's not going to affect the stock market. It's going to maybe decrease the the upward trend of the market. It might just stabilize the market for a little bit of time. When in reality in March, the stock market just about had an aneurysm. And at that point in time, I was already 80% out of the stock market. I sold in January and February when everyone was saying, oh, the virus is not gonna be anything. I was getting my butt out of the market. The only thing I held were some of the Canadian banks and the rest of it, I sold, I was way up, and then I got back in all the way down, all, all the way down. Like when the market tanked, that's when I was buying. I waited about a week into the, uh, into the market tanking, and I basically got it through the two weeks where it bottomed. And that is how you do it. When people say this crazy thing that's happening in the world is not going to affect the stock market, that's when you sell because it's going to. But Immersion Corporation, together with its subsidiaries, invents, scales, and licenses haptic technologies that allow people to use their sense of touch to engage with and experience various digital products in North America, Europe, and Asia. So we've all seen those gloves that Facebook is kind of trying to invent, where you can actually touch things in the metaverse. This is essentially what this company does. Again, with the whole idea, I think that Facebook could just buy out some of these companies and give them crazy valuations. Next is Meta, which is also called Facebook, one of my least favorite companies in the entire world. I have invested in this business before, I did quite well, and I will probably never invest again because I dislike their business model. However, their average volume is ridiculous. They're one of the biggest companies in the entire world, worth $612 billion. They are a massive company. Could they double to a trillion dollar company? Most likely. There's already a few trillion dollar companies. It's no longer a mythological thing for a company to see. Their PE ratio is no longer stupid. It's no longer in the 100 range or even in the 80 range where it was a few years ago. It's down to 16 and they do have again earnings per share that are positive they do have a lot of headwinds coming of course building out the metaverse is going to be extremely expensive however another thing is of course companies like Apple really trying to attack Facebook to a point where of course now Facebook cannot even directly advertise to people if somebody has an iPhone so that is actually a very massive headwind since most of Meta's advertising or money comes from advertising dollars so that is something to really pay attention to however something else that not many people have been really saying recently is um, there is a guy called Elon Musk who just purchased a massive amount of Twitter stock and Twitter is basically a competitor of Facebook and on top of it all Elon Musk hates Zuckerberg apparently, so maybe he's getting into it to kind of beat Zuckerberg. So there's a few different headwinds. There's some there's some hypothetical headwinds and there's actual some real headwinds. So just keep those things in mind. However, their revenue has consistently grown every single year and so has their earnings, which is always a nice positive. Anytime you see companies with increasing revenue and earnings is something that you should always look at seriously as an investment. We all know what Meta does, so we don't really need to read that. But if you do, of course, you can pause the screen. I'll even blow it up for you. There you go. And of course, one part of this that nobody is really talking about is Apple. Apple is, of course, also going to be part of the metaverse. Maybe not Facebook's metaverse, but they may be able to incorporate their products into Facebook's metaverse. They may even create their own. They're trying to actually taking, take a little bit different of a spin where it seems like Apple is trying to make these augmented reality style glasses or goggles or whatever it may be. At least these, this is what the stories are 
where now when you're walking down the street, you may actually be able to see overlays. So for example, when you're walking down a street, you may actually walk past a restaurant and that restaurant may just have a, a digital menu that's on the like basically covers the front of their building so that when you look at that restaurant you'll be able to say oh wow they've got a really nice hamburger and on top of it all you may even be able to have the ability to look at videos that that company has created so that now you can say wow they really take a lot of effort into their food and I want to go there and eat by the way, if you own a restaurant, definitely be making videos on how you cook your food. Uh, that is a very good way of getting business. That's a very good way of making money online as well. I have five YouTube channels, and believe me, this has basically taken over my income stream. It used to be 100% basketball training, and now it's like 20% basketball training and 80% YouTube. So that's crazy. They also do have a dividend. So for us dividend investors like myself, this is a very attractive stock, even though they pay very little dividend. It's very liquid as well, because of course they have a crazy amount of share volume that is being traded. They've also had increased revenue. Now, of course, this is something to be leery of. Will they be able to continue that? They probably will. But these two years right here, 2020 and 2021, those are the years where everyone is going more digital. So I really wouldn't be surprised if in the future years they had a little bit of a regression on their revenue and their earnings. However, with this whole new meta idea that's happening and even more and more people going online for work, I really doubt that there would be any major amount of regression on their revenue or earnings. They've had three beats out of four and one was a meat, so that's okay as well. They also increase their dividends, however, they don't do it very often. They're not doing it like every quarter, they're doing it generally once a year and it's not a major increase either. So if you're doing this for the dividend, I personally wouldn't. The dividend is just a nice little bonus. So that's my take on the top stocks on this uh, on on this topic. If you're looking to increase your your income, definitely subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys again in my next video because believe me, the investing is going to change your life if you haven't started already. So make sure to check out the video up there as well as the video up there. And I'll see you guys again next time.